grinding suitors like take me, so I roll the dice. Look up to no one else, but your how is shy. Yeah, I got real power. Hebrew is a lie. Misconception when it comes to the Bible, who it's for and what it's about. Read that. It's the book of John, chapter three and verse sixteen. For God said, love the world. For God so loved the world. If God really so loved the world. Why, the, why black people the only one done? The blacks and Hispanics. Why we the only ones that ain't getting no love? If God loved everybody, why we on the bottom? That's because God love. God love is like the love of a parent. And what does a parent do when you mess up? They discipline you. Read the Bible. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 6. Yeah. For whom the Lord loveth, he chastises. He says what? For whom the Lord loveth, he chastises. The Lord's love is coming in the form of chastisement. The Lord's love is coming in the form of being black and Hispanic in America. That is the love of the Most High. Because you know what that love is going to bring forth? That love is going to bring forth correction. That love is going to bring forth repentance. Right? Because blacks and Hispanics don't know how to love their own people, now you're forced to love somebody else. Somebody who will never give you what you deserve in this place. You got that in Deuteronomy? All right, read that real quick. Deuteronomy 11 and 26 if you could. It's the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 11 and verse 26. Yeah. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. A blessing and a curse. A blessing if ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God. This is how any parent is. If you listen to what they tell you to do, they're going to give you everything that you need. And some. Right, 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 right. Which I command you this day. Verse 28. And a curse. If ye will not obey the commandments, that's what? If ye will not obey, obey the commandments, the commandments. It says a curse is gonna come upon your people if you don't obey the commandments of the Most High God. So we're gonna go through some of these curses because we gotta identify who this Bible is actually talking about. But right, give me Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Right, what you got? Right, give me Jeremiah 17 and 4 real quick. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse number 4. It reads. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. Because now we force to call ourselves African Americans, niggas, black men. Every every nationality under the sun, they have a place of origin. There is no land called black. There is no land called African American. Right? Mexico wasn't called Mexico prior to the Spanish conquest. All of these names and titles that we take on have been given to us by somebody else. You got that, uh, Jeremiah Farm? But read that. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 5 and verse number 26. For among my people are found wicked men. For among my people are found wicked men. For among the most high's people is found wicked men, read on. They lay wait as that set of snares. They set a trap. They set a trap. Back over on the west coast of Africa, they set all kinds of traps for our people. Because one common thing that we believe is that we're the Satan's Africa. Have a conversation with an African. They're going to show you that they hate you more than white people do. But read on. It reads. They say truck. They catch men. They catch men. Once they gather this up, give me Deuteronomy 28 and 68. They sent us on a journey. Right in a big cruise ship. They sent us across the ocean over to the Americas. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. No. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. This word Egypt is an American word meaning bondage or slavery. I'm going to stuff y'all in the cages, and we're going to send you to this land on the other side of the earth. Like, what, is this, what is this land known for, we don't? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt meaning slavery or bondage, we don't? With ship. What? With, With ship. ship. I don't have people come over to the Americas. We came over on boats. Now, they say that we came over by indentured servitude, but we understand that that's not what happened. Right, we don't? By the way where I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Thou shalt see it no more again. We haven't been home since. Are we been forced to call ourselves all these other nationalities under the sun? Right, read one. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Right after we got off two ships, we got sold to the highest bidder. Five hours, 15, 25 for some of the bigger brothers. Right, read one. To be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond, for bond men and bond women. Bond men mean enslaved men and bond women mean enslaved women. Read one. And no man shall buy you. Now when we get to this new land, give me verse 54. What's going to happen amongst our people? Because what they're going to do is in, in, during slavery, we still understood who we were. Right? Our, our Hispanic and Native American brothers, they knew that they were Israelites. 
And what has to happen is what they call a divide and conquer theory. Right. They have to wipe your nationality away. Because if I know that you are Israelite and I'm an Israelite, we naturally don't have that love for each other. But when I no longer know that you're an Israelite, now I'm able to hate you without feeling no type of way about that. Read that in verse 54. Deuteronomy 28, verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate. Prior to the 1960s, but before integration, we had a very loving people. We didn't have all of this black on black crime. We had fathers in the household. Sisters wasn't throwing their kids out on the street right now. His eyes shall be evil towards his brothers. His eyes shall be evil towards his brothers. Now we got black on black crime in America. Now we got Hispanic on black crime in America. We got the Serenios, the MS-13s, the Bloods, the Crips, Vice Lords, and GEs. Right, read on. And towards the wife of his bosom. Now every household that you go into, they got baby mama drunk. They always argue. Black couples ain't never in tune with each other. Read on. And towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Which he shall leave. He says that he's going to be known for leaving his children. This ain't talking to nobody outside of Black Hispanics and Native Americans. So the world that the, that the Lord said that he loved, he's talking about the world of Israel. Give me Isaiah chapter 45 and start at verse 17. Give me Daniel chapter 9 and start at verse 11. Right, you got that? Of Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 17. But Israel, but Israel, talking about our people. If a brother Blue ties my you give me Amos 3 and 1, read that. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. With an everlasting salvation, he shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end it says that we're not going to be in a shame or confound the world without end. But look on the TVs. Is that true? It's not. The reason that that is, matter of fact, you got that at Amos? Give me Amos chapter 3 and start at verse 3. It's the book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Can two walk together except they be agreed? The reason that our people can't get along is because we are not on the same page. Blacks and Hispanics have no foundation. Give me Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. And then when a house is built upon an unsturdy foundation, that house is bound to collapse. Give me Mark chapter 3 and start at verse 25 with the two. You got that? Read that. Book of Hosea chapter 4 and verse number 6. For my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. For my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. It says that we're going to be destroyed because we don't know. If you want to hide something from a black person, do what? Put it in a book. And then what they do is they convince you that this book is about your enemies. And then when it comes down to this book, you want to get away from your enemy so bad that the one thing that saves you, you have a hatred for. You got what I thought? Read that. The book of Mark, chapter 3, and verse 25. Yes. If a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. You got black on black crimes, you got black on Hispanic crime, that nation can no longer rise up. Give me verse 27. Verse 27. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man. It says the strong man that is talking about is the black man and the black woman. The goods that is talking about is our children, our upbringing, our nation, and our way of life. But it says that you can't enter into that strong man's house unless you first, uh, unless you first bound that house up. That, that, that bind that is talking about is the lies of being black. The lies of being Latino, of being Hispanic and Native American. Everything that they fed you, black on black crime, fathers not getting in the households, welfare, all of that stuff was made to destroy our people. Right, read on. And then he will spoil his house. Now our people are spoiled. So what are we out here to do? Give me Luke chapter 14 and verse 23. We are here to unbind the strong man, to get that man his identity back. Because once that man know who he is, now I know what I'm supposed to do. Now I have a purpose. The one thing, the reason that black and Hispanics do what they do is because they feel so lost. Right, you got that? Read that. Book of Luke, chapter 14 and verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in. And compel them to come in. You can get blacks and Hispanics to join anything ever. They'll go join a gang, a fraternity, some goofy ass book club, but you can never get them to be who they're supposed to be. Hey, Read verse uh, 28. Verse number 28. For which of you intending to build a tower, sit of not down first and count the cost? And count the cost. We have to count the cost on building a nation. We have to give up this individual lifestyle that we have, that where we live, only looking out for ourselves, and we gotta show compassion and love on our brothers and sisters. Are right, we wrong? And we have sufficient to, brother, you have sufficient to finish it. Please help me after you laid the foundation 
and is not able to finish it, and is not able to finish it, all that behold him began to mock him, saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish. That's why everybody's mocking us now. Because what we built, it ain't built on nothing but lies, man. Aren't you glad what I caught? What we done? Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, number 12. Yeah. And and now Israel, every black Hispanic and Native American on this face of the earth, you know? What? That the Lord thy God require of thee. Because it's not as simple enough as just knowing that you're an Israelite. Like, I can have a job as a teacher. Is it just enough to be a teacher, or is it something I have to do? I got to teach, right? As being an Israelite, drop down to verse 13. Verse 13, to keep the commandments of the Lord. To keep the commandments of the Lord. As an Israelite, you got to keep the commandments of the Most High. What's going on, fellas? What's your nationalities? African American. What about you? You native? And what about you? You African? From what country? You were born, you were more so of African American, you just don't want to claim that title. That makes sense. What about you? You're Mexican, what about you? What about, what's your father? He's African American. All right, here's the thing. Every single nationality that y'all gave, right, like a Mexican or a Hispanic, Hispanic just means a property of Spain. You're not a property, you're a free man, according to what they say in America. So that's not your true identity. You being an uh, indigenous American. Y'all didn't even call yourselves Native American. Native American just means I lived here first. You being African American, African American, that only stems back into the 1980s of Reverend Jesse Jackson. Right. So your nationality, from or what we claim, it's not even over 40 years old. Our true nationalities are according to the Bible. You read James chapter two and verse six. We're Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. We're Israelites according to history. That's our true nationality. Every nationality that we call and claim is something that was given to somebody else. Who called you black? A white man did. Right? Because what? You got conquered by them. What about you being a Native American? Who conquered y'all? It wasn't, yeah, Columbus. And it was, not Columbus, but the, it was the Columbus Rock and all that. Yeah. But they came over and conquered y'all, the Hispanics. They came over and conquered y'all as well. And the nationalities that we call ourselves by are the same exact nationalities that they wanted to give us because they ruined our identity. You got that? Read that. It's the book of James, chapter 2 and verse 6. Read it out. Ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you. Do not rich men oppress you. Tell me which one of your nationalities is not being oppressed today. Now, what about the Chinese, man? Are they being oppressed? They not. They are? Chinese right? people ain't being oppressed. What about the Japanese? The Iranians. The Iranians blowing stuff up. But they can still come over here and they can create more than a black or Hispanic right, right, right. That's right. And you see that? The reason that that is, is because America was made to destroy y'all and keep y'all down. Right. Right, that's why they give you the nationalities of being black, right. of being Native American, African American, of being a so-called Mexican. Y'all two nationalities, you brother, you would be an Israelite, but from the tribe of Judah. Right, you brother, you would be an Israelite, but from the tribe of Gad. This brother would be an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. Right. That's our two nationalities. You got that? Oh. Read John 15 and 28. John 15 and verse 28. You know. And he dwelleth in desolate cities. And he dwelleth in desolate cities. But in the desolate parts of the city, who usually lives there? Our people do. Desolate means destroy or, the, or having a lack in something. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the ones that live in those parts of the city. Read on. And in the houses which no man inhabited, white people would not come and live in the same torn down neighborhoods that we exist in today. But right, that's how do we know that this Bible is speaking about y'all? Because every verse, give me uh, Acts chapter 13 and verse 1 if a brother could. Give me Song of Solomon chapter 1 and verse 5. Every verse that we go to is only going to pertain to y'all people. It's only going to pertain to us. We say for God so loved the world, we're the only ones being destroyed. That's because we are the world that he cares about. You know, when you got the girl, you say, you are my world. That's the world that the Lord was talking about. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You got that? You say, you got Acts 13, read Acts 13. Look at Acts chapter 13, verse 1. Yeah. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers, as Bacchus and Simeon, that was called niggers. That was called niggers. That was called niggers. I want you to flip that and tell me that nigger means everybody. It don't. It says that the men of the Lord, the men of the Bible, 
their nationality, they were called by everybody else nigger. Nigger means black. I want y'all brothers to remember that y'all is black. Take a flyer if you can, man. Yes, sir. Right, we got to get back to the commandments with this, brother. What's going on, fam? What did y'all hear since y'all been up here? I'll be, in, I'll be in together, but it's, it's not just our praise to the most high. Right now, just to go in brief, what we were telling this brother right here is that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, your true identity, are Israelites according to the Bible. Now, the nationality that we have today were given to us by somebody else. Right? The thing is, if they swipe, if first snap, swipe our nationality away, why would they then give us that correct nationality back? Give me Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Well, they give me Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. Amos chapter 3 and verse number 1. Yeah. Here's this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. O children of Israel. Talking to the Israelites, we know. Against the whole family. What? Against the whole family. Said the whole family. When you go to your family reunion, usually everybody has something similar to you. The church is supposed to be a family reunion. But when I go there, I see people that don't look like me. People that don't share the same conditions that my people live in. Right, read on. Against the whole family, which are brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have a known. You only have a known. God said he has only known one family on this entire earth. Read on. That's right. Of all the families of the earth. Verse number seven. Surely the Lord God will do nothing. Because what we do, now we always supposed to pray and we fast. And, and I'm not going to say go to church. You really got to come learn the Bible from people who understand the Bible. But we always, Luke 17 and 10 or 20 says that the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Meaning that y'all going to have to come and put in the work. If blacks and Hispanics want to get back on top, then it's something that we have to do. Right. Right, give me that in Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. Book of Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. And the swine. And the swine. You know what swine is? That's the port, right? We know him. No, he divided the hook and be covered footed. Yet he threw it, not the cut. The cut is talking about proper digestion. Like when you pay attention to a cow or certain animals, they redigest their food over and over to get all the nutrients out of it. We know He is unclean to you. He is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. The Lord says that he don't want us eating pork. What do our people do? We turn around and we eat it anyway. You got Canadian bacon, Christmas coming up. You got the holiday ham. Y'all, y'all eat pork? All right, would you be willing to give up pork for the most high? Not just for the most high, but to better your people? All praise. What about you, brother? You willing to give up pork for the Lord? All praise to the most high. All praise. I right, drop down to verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, no, shall ye eat. Our people, give me uh, Exodus chapter 35 and verse 2. We love to eat seafood, right? So what seafood do we, our, our people usually love to eat? Lobster. Catfish. Somebody said lobster. I did. Right? Uh, <laughs> catfish, lobster. We do, we do like to eat lobster and shrimp. Exactly. Now it says that everything that has fins and scales, those you can eat. Read on. Dumb shite, swag you. And all that have not fins nor scales in the seas and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and any of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. The Lord says that they are an abomination unto us. Those are the main things. Give me Judah chapter 5. I think I want verse 21. Those are the main things. You see how everything that we do as a people is directly against what the Most High said? Or that's because everything that we do, we have been taught that. And the things that we have been taught, they weren't just randomly placed on us. They understood that if they could get us to follow these ways, that was going to be the destruction of the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Who got that in Judah? Read that. Chapter 5 and verse 21. Verse 21. But if there be no iniquity in their nations, verse 20, now therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people, and they sin against their God, he says that if they can get our people to sin against our God, what's going to happen? We don't. Let us consider that this shall be the ruin. That this shall be the ruin. He says that that's what's going to be the ruin of God's chosen people when they stop uh, keeping his commandment. But we don't. And let us go up. And we shall overcome them. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, if we repent and we turn back to the Most High God, what's going to happen? We don't. 
Let my Lord now press by. Least their Lord the feather and their God be for them. It says that if we come back to the commandments, our God is going to actually be for us. Right. What this Bible is, a lot of us just looks at a lot of us just look at it as a book that tells us we're not to do. But these are instructions to build a nation, right. instructions to build a sure foundation for our people. Because the things that work for everybody else, they don't work for us. White people can eat whatever they want to. They don't get high blood pressure. We do. White people can go off and kill anybody that they want to. But we are too loving of a people. We're too compassionate. That don't work for us. What works for us is the commandments of the Most High God. You got that in Exodus? Read that. The book of Exodus chapter 35 and verse 2. Six days shall work be done. But on the seventh day, there shall be to you, you a holy day. It says on the seventh day, it's going to be to, uh, to us a holy day of the Most High. What's going on? He going to fly? Ray. Ray, you'll get a brother to fly. It's for us not obeying the Lord's day. What's going to happen if we don't obey his day? Read on. But on the seventh day, there shall be to you a holy day, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord. Whosoever doeth work therein shall be put to death, shall be put to death, so that the consequences of defiling his holy day are getting put to death. What's the main day that our people die? On Saturday, Friday night and Saturday night. That's because we reaping the judgment of breaking the Sabbath of the Most High God. So are you willing to longer on, on Saturdays just come out, listen to the Bible, or to not do any work, not buy nor sell? Give me Nehemiah 1031. You're not supposed to buy, sell, nor cook. It's a day for you to take for yourself and chill out. You a hard working man, I know you are. Right? It's a day for you to have off. Your boss can't make you work. Don't do no work for yourself. Chill out and listen to the Bible. What's going on, brother? You're an Israelite. All right, bro. You're an Israelite, and you got to keep God commandment. Remember Appreciate that? Y'all. Give, give all a praise. Praise. All praise. Praise. Thank you. Appreciate You're welcome. All praise. Give me second Andrew chapter 15 and verse 40. Because I hate Chicago. I hate everything about Chicago. I hate, I hate a lot of the people in Chicago. <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with this place. You said not more than you? but you don't know. <laughs> what you got? Read that. Andrew, chapter 15 of verse 40. No. The great and mighty cloud shall be lifted up. The great and mighty cloud shall be lifted up. The Most High is bringing so much terror to this world. Chicago got to go, man. Milwaukee got to go, man. Chicago, Milwaukee, New Orleans, everybody across the seas, all of it needs to be destroyed. There's too much wickedness in this earth. Read the Bible. Full of wrath. Full of wrath. The Most High not coming back with cuddles and kisses, man. They think that Yahweh Shai is so nice, God, man. Yahweh Shai was a bully. Read the Bible. And the storm, they, they may all that the earth afraid. It's like that they may all make the earth afraid. It says that these things are coming to make the earth afraid. People are going to fear and tremble. Everybody think, what's going on, sis? Sis with the Billy Jean jacket. Are you got five seconds for your brothers? Take a flower. What's going on, sisters? I got five seconds for Hispanics and Latinos. And five seconds. Five seconds. See that? No, they don't want you to I read. And them that dwell therein, and they shall pour out every height, over every height, and in it. What's going on, fam? What's going on, brother? What's going on, what's going on fam? Y'all got five seconds for blacks and Hispanics. Y'all got five seconds for y'all brothers. Anybody care? Anybody give a damn about blacks and Hispanic people? It's a whole group of Listen, the queens in Chicago are so much worse than they are all over the world. Because in Milwaukee, they at least be like, I'm good. These niggas in Chicago, they gonna act like they ain't hear you, man. <laughs> it don't make no sense. Niggas pull out the phone, put it to their ear. Like, brother, come on, man. Then you hear the thing. I know you, I'm like, come on, man. Read. And reads. And they shall pull out every heart and every place. And hold the storm. And hold the storm. Fire and hell and flying swords and many waters. That all fields may be full and all rivers with the abundance of great water. Most High is coming back with so much destruction. So much vengeance. You gotta think about what they did to his chosen people. What's going on, family? Y'all got five seconds for Latinos? Five seconds. Five seconds, guys. You ain't got time, baby. Look back. Come on, brother. See that? How about y'all, family? Do anybody give a damn about Latino people? We're just trying to build the Latino community up, huh? Right, right, right. Don't nobody want that. 
Yeah. Everybody win. Niggas, give me Exodus chapter 20. Hold that. Give me Exodus chapter 21 and verse 5. Because these niggas love to be here. They love to have nothing. Right, and that's why John 8 and 32 says, You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Your music is not going to make it. Sometimes you gotta tell brothers that. Your rap career not taking off. You're not getting that million dollar break. That's gonna set you free from the lust and desires of this place. Now y'all can come back and you can build your nation up. You got that answer this? Read that. Exodus chapter 21 and verse 5. And if the servant shall plainly say, I love my master. I love my master. I love my master. Some of these cool people out here, they do what? I love my master. They love master too much, man. I come back to your brothers. But I ain't never, you will never ever catch me in any place and I walk by past a black, Hispanic, and Native American and not even at least nod my head. Right, right, but they right. completely ignore us when we come out here. Right, and we're right. coming out for y'all. Right. That's the hypocrisy of God's chosen people. Right. Because when we, one thing they try to say, oh, you Hebrew Israelites, y'all are all the same. We're not dealing with y'all. When we say that white people are all the same, it's a problem. That's the hypocrisy that our people bring. So we can all be the same. But then they can't all be the same. That don't make no sense. You still got that in second address? The rule. The book of second address, chapter 15 and verse 42. No. And they shall break down the cities and walls. And walls, says the most high is coming to tear down the cities and walls. Where the Quran at? I need a footstool, read on. Mountains and hills, trees and the wood, and grass and the meadows, and the corn. And they shall go steadfastly unto Babylon. And they shall go steadfastly unto Babylon. Here he coming directly to Chicago to break, man. To tear this place went from them. What's going on, family? And I five seconds for y'all brothers. Come on, family. Yo, we can't get people to stop out here for nothing. Now give me first Maccabees chapter 7 and verse 4. Now give me second Maccabees chapter 2 and start at 4 and verse 15. What's, what's that? Yeah, man, give me that damn footstool, man. All right, give me the footstool. I'm going to teach you my foot on it. Now, give me 2 Maccabees chapter 4 and verse 15. This is the Quran for the camera. All right, what you got? Read that, 7 and 5. It's the book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 7 and verse number 5. Yo! And it reads, And there came unto him all the wicked and ungodly men of Israel. All the wicked and ungodly men of Israel. So many wicked and ungodly people in Chicago the great. And all we want our people to do is to turn from their wicked way. But we can't get that. What is that, Ezekiel 33? You give me Ezekiel 33? I think it's a 33 and 1. What you got? Or 11. What you got? No, you can drop that. Keep reading the, uh, huh? Second Maccabees chapter 4 and verse 15. Book of Second Maccabees chapter 4 and verse number 15. And it reads, not setting by the orders of their fathers. Not setting by the orders of their fathers. What's going on, sis? Sis with the braids. You got five seconds for your brothers? Come on, sis. With the braids done, now you can't hear us? Uh-huh. See that? And you know it ain't done in the back. That's why she got her hood on. Like you read it? But liking the glory of the Grecians. But liking the glory of the Grecians. First of all, we love everything that white people do. White people walk past. White people won't even ignore us when they walk past. What's going on? You see that? We gotta say something to one of our people. They gonna walk past and clearly ignore us. That is a hypocrisy of black and Spanish and Native Americans. That's why they need to come back to this Bible, man. Right? Verse 16. By reason we're for. By reason we're for. Because of that, we don't. So a calamity came upon them. The reason that y'all are destroyed because y'all want to do everything that white people do. Right, y'all right. want to be like them so much. And you do it so much better, man. Right, right, right. Why would you want to be like them? That man is a vagabond in the earth. What's crazy is that he took one, but the people that took your nationality, oh, you don't want to be like them. You want to go be like the East Indians. You want to be like the crackers in America, man. Right. Hey, will any of y'all any be Hispanics? I got five seconds for y'all brothers. Come on, sis. Sis in the show. I ain't forgotten what that was. Right, but it says they like in the glory of the Grecians best of all. I right, read on. But they had them. Sorry. But they had them to be their enemies and avengers whose custom they follow so earnestly and unto whom they desire to be like in all things. For it is not a light thing to do wickedly 
Right, but it says that we we went and we took our enemies and we followed their ways. Give me Sirach chapter 12, start at verse 10 if you could. What I got you holding? I think that's Ezekiel, was that Ezekiel 33 and 10 or 11? Got that. I need ties in my read from. This Ezekiel chapter 33 and 11. No. Say unto them, as I live, said the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his wicked way. But that the wicked turn from his wicked way. They think that we could like to come out here in the cool and just yell just to yell. We think They think that we like to just correct them just because we want to be right. I don't go home and study, go home and read, sacrifice my personal time to come out here and prove the truth just to prove you wrong. But what? Read on. And live. Turn ye. Turn from your evil ways. Turn ye. Turn from your evil ways. For why will ye die? For why will you die? Why do we consistently choose the ways of death? That's what our people love to do. Every sin that we, everything that we get ourselves into when it comes to another nation, we end up suffering. We're the only ones that end up suffering. Every time we form a relationship with white people, we get destroyed. We form a relationship with Chinese people, we get hurt. Everybody else that we go and love, we always become the people that suffer. But we still can't get the picture. What I got you holding? Read that. The book of Sight, right? Chapter 12 and verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. Never trust thine enemy. Blacks and Hispanics to get simple instructions as this. Don't trust the niggas that hate you. It's that simple. Read on. But like as I am wealthy, so is this wicked lucky. But and what makes it even more crazy? Let that enemy be of one of their own people. Are they gonna never trust that enemy? When it comes down to the people that have shown for the last 400 years, they don't give a damn about you, or I'm going I'm to I'm put my trust in Whitey. I'm going to put my trust in them. Right. What's going on, fam? Y'all got five seconds for Latinas? Five seconds. Five seconds. Let me go. I'm tripping. Yeah, yeah, you see, you see that? Read your mind. Verse 11. Don't be home with himself. Though he humbled himself, he, he is a good, he is an amazing infiltrator. And when they infiltrate, they distract. And they make themselves the primary focus of everything that you got going on, read the Bible. And go crouching, take good heed, and beware of them. And thou shalt be unto him as thou hast wiped a looking glass. You wipe the looking glass, that's because you can't see through it clearly. We need to wipe the looking glass so we can see the white man for who he truly is. So we can see the Asians for who they truly are. Every single person in America, they make money off of black and Hispanic destruction. I don't let them got stores tailored to us. The Jap the Chinese, they got the hair store. I where they selling beeswax. You got the Arabs, Arabs don't even eat chicken, bro. They eat camel meat. But they they frying up chicken and shrimp. Everybody making some type of money off of our people, we won't come back and you won't build with your own nation. That's complete and that's utter destruction. Give me Matthew chapter 18 and verse 15. What's going on, sis? What's going on, fam? Or does anybody have time for the Bible? For their brother? Give me Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and start at verse 7. You got that? Read that. The book of Matthew chapter 18 and verse 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, Go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. That's not what we like to do. We like to take it to social media. We like to take it to somebody else. If you would show that simple love and compassion to your brother and tell him what he did wrong because he might not see what he did was wrong. But we don't want to show that type of correction. That's why I can't stand. Listen, I can't stand America. Because America has taught us everything that has kept us on the bottom. And out of every captivity that we have ever been in, we ain't never been this destroyed. What's going on, family? Y'all got five seconds for y'all people? I got like a lot, bro. The Arabics. Uh, the Arabics. Arabics. They're just speaking hey, Arabic. how they didn't see the Quran on the ground? I don't know. Probably read them. It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, and verse 7. Probably yeah. step on a couple of people. Somehow, <laughs> read. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. The state that we're living in, it makes us crazy. It's not just talking about anger. Madness is being driven out of your complete and utter mind. To love somebody that has showed you that they don't love you, that's mad. To take vaccines that you don't know where the hell they came from, that's mad. To hate the people that look like you, 
But to love the people that constantly kill you, that's mad. Like we don't. And a gift destroyed the heart. That gift has destroyed the minds of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Yes. Any Proverbs have a three verse five. That's why we gotta get back to this Bible, man. I really need to get, I'm ready to get the hell up out of here. I'm ready for Chicago to break to be destroyed. I don't know if the most high got a missile for that building right there. Give me another proverb. The proverbs of the three and first of the five. Trust in your power. Trust in your power. You gotta trust in the most high because the ways of men are pure and utter wickedness. I don't even trust in myself. Every decision that I do, I go to another man to get counsel. I go to the Bible to get counsel. I sing prayers up to the Most High. That's completion. Right, read on. Trust in your hell with all thy heart. And lean not unto thy all understanding. And lean not unto thy all understanding. The ways that we have chosen, they have done nothing for us. The people that we have chose to love, they have done nothing for us. Stop trusting in everybody else and come trust the one and sure foundation on the face of this earth. Give me go verse 31. So, Lucky, what's going on, sis? Sisters, y'all got five seconds for y'all brothers? Five seconds. Just five seconds. Oh, that's it. That's no. it. <laughs> man, they different out here, man. All right, the coonery is real. Uh, Proverbs 3 and 31. No. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse number 31. And he thou not on person. And he thou not on person. I don't even know. The white man don't even have an identity. Why are we envying what he has? And the judgment, oh, the judgment that he got coming. And the thing is, is that we know that some type of justice is going to be served to the so-called white man. But we still chose to envy him. Ain't no way in hell that we think that he going to get away with the rape, robbery, and murder of God's chosen people. All of our people, we know that we're God's people. But we still want to love them anyway. What's going on, family? Sis with the Tinkerbell hat. Sister. Two minutes, sister. Right, read on. And it reads. And choose none of his ways. And choose none of his ways. We gotta stop choosing the ways of everybody else. We gotta choose the ways of the most high. Right, because what's going on, sis? What's going on, brother? What's going on, brother? What's your nationality, bro? What's, what's your nationality, brother? African American, black. All right, so would you say that you're more African American or that you're more of a black man? Would you say that you're more of an African American or that you're more of a black man? All right, now let me ask you, what's the difference between African American and black? Huh? I got you, brother. What we're trying to tell you that is that there is no difference between African American and black. But there is a difference between that and who you truly are. Being African American, that's something that was given to you by a coon. You know who uh, Jesse Jackson is? Oh, he's a coon back from the 80s. He gave us the nationality of uh, African American because he got tired of being called black. Black just means to be in a lower state or to be in detriment. Right, right. Right? It ain't go no good in us calling ourselves that either. Right. right. Who called us those names? Right. The, the, uh, whatever that car, whatever color that car, the car, we were calling the Toyota Camrys, man. The Toyota Camrys gave us that nationality. Now, what else did they call us? Because we call, we probably said we black and I'm proud. What else did they call us? Niggers. Are we proud to say that, though? We not. Let one of them call us a nigger. We're going to have a problem with that. But the difference is, the problem is, is that nigger just means black. It became unokay for them to call you a nigger, but they still wanted to have that same effect. So they just switched the letters around, now they call you black. The problem is that that's not who you truly are. That's not your nationality. Your true nationality, you'll be an Israelite more than likely from the tribe of Judah, man. You give me uh, Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. No. I know that work and tribulation. That I know how hard your people work, but you're still in tribulation. Right? Are, 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 is everybody else on the face of the serpent tribulation? They're not. Are right, we doing? And poverty. And poverty. Is we doing? But thou are rich, because we rich in spirit. We pay attention to our people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It don't matter what condition you put us in, we gonna find a way to make it. Right, right, Let right. you take everything from the white man. They gonna jump off a building. Right, we doing? 
and I know the blasphemy of those which stay there are Jews. So it says that it's a bunch of people on the face of the earth that say that they're Jews, we know. And they're not. And they're not. And he says, but they're not Jews, right, right. we know. But all the synagogue, I'm saying, they are a goddamn devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. Like the word devil just means deceiver. Who is the biggest deceiver out of everybody outside of our people? Because they called you black. They trick you into going, they trick our women into going by uh, uh, bundles of weed that come off the ass of a horse. That is pure and utter deception. And now our little black girls, they grow up thinking that those white girls are prettier than the black girls are. Now they grow up with that self-hate. And with that self-hate, they go out and they whore themselves out. That's the destruction that everybody else has brought upon our people. That's the destruction of being black in America. So what should we do? We need to get back to who we truly are as being Israelites according to the Bible, man. Let me Matthew chapter 5 and start at verse 10. That's time. So look, I'm going to have the next brother come in and he's going to edify you better than I ever could. Right, right, right. And with that... Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. We would, that's that's a long the next brother that come in, he gonna he gonna handle that situation, he gonna handle that conversation. But with that, I'm gonna say Maraf Baba about the Ryan. That that's to America and the structure of our nations. And to the black Hispanics and Native Americans, rise up! Call your